what's up guys and welcome back to another video uh, today's video we are on Smith Lake fishing a tournament I don't know we're excited about it. it's the first tournament of the year uh, we're on a heron lake which means throwing a lot of spooks and flukes and jerk baits and everything else so uh, we got we feel pretty good about it you know we'll see we'll kind of see how it goes but uh, fishing with Houston Calvert today and we're fixing to get after we're on our way to the lake now so we can get registered uh, get the boat in the water and get the blast off we're actually boat number 20 so um, we got a good boat number we're in the top third uh, and we got a couple spots that we think are gonna be good kind of near the boat ramp so all in all we're excited we're pumped to get there I'm pumped to bring you guys along and uh, it's gonna be a great day of fishing either way guys if you haven't subscribed to the channel don't forget to go ahead and subscribe and uh, come along with us it's gonna be a good one Sixteen inch. Now we got rid of number two. No five. We really just need. We should. We probably need to just weigh them and be for sure on them. That's just about all they're biting right now. Six cents catwalk. Boy, we gotta do something about that. That's terrible. got out of the first pocket uh, the first pocket we ran to this morning uh, you guys aren't gonna believe it because the uh, I, I accidentally deleted the clips on the GoPro but the first pocket we went into we found them schooling at school and then we caught five really quick uh, we even cold a couple times um, we think we're sitting at like 10 pounds right now so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back out into the into the main lake uh, we're gonna go hit some more points and we're trying to find them schooling up back in the pockets and things and so far we're doing a pretty good job we're throwing like like spooks and some swim baits and stuff and trying to get them fired up and uh, we're catching some schooling fish right now so uh, it, it feels good it, it's looking good for us we're gonna keep at it and see what happens
Oh, this is a big one. Yep. I think it's a big one. Be sure to eat it like it's a big one. Get him snack if you need it. I don't think he's very well hooked. Let's go. Look at that, dude. He choked it. I turned around and saw your rock. God. He bit up right off that dog. God, dude. He wanted that. Oh, that Look at that. Six, <laughs> six cents down the gullet. <laughs> oh, dude. He's trying to swallow it. As I'm getting this out. Let's go, baby. Nice, dude. Random, random big ones. Hold those two up if you can. Which one? This one? Yeah, hold them by the mouth, not by those. All right, put them down there. Okay, yeah, chunk yours in here. That one's bigger than this one? About far. Okay, here. Put that on. Nah, he's very bad. Dude, Let's nice. go, baby. Let's go. <laughs> right off that dock, man. He came right off the back corner of that dock. I'm gonna get us out. I'm gonna change the treble hook. Come on now. Oh, let's go. Right on the you probably swallowed it. Yeah, just about. Oh man. That's gonna be close. Yeah, That's grab my skin. Does he? Yeah. All right, so we just left the second pocket of the day. Actually, the second and the third we fished, and you guys saw that we culled twice, one per pocket. Uh, so we think we're up to like 12 or maybe even 13 pounds now. Uh, we started, we caught, we caught a, Houston caught a largemouth on a frog. Uh, so we're starting to get that going. And still the schooling fish is the key. We're finding them on points. We're finding them in the back of pockets. And uh, when they get fired up, we get on them real quick. Uh, so we think we've got 13 pounds. Our smallest fish is like 2.7. Uh, we just called a 2.5 with the 2.7. So we're doing good. It's 9.33 and we've got five in the boat and we're feeling good. This is probably, me and Houston were talking, this is probably our best start. It's certainly our best start in a tournament ever when we've been fishing together, and it's my best start ever. Uh, so we're feeling good. We, we don't have the, the weight to win it yet. We're pretty sure of that. But we've got all day to go find another couple fish. We need a four pounder. We need a four pounder. If we get a four pounder, we're gonna be in business. Uh, so y'all stay tuned, we're gonna keep fishing. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's small. I got one. Hold on, dude. Oh, yeah. He'll pull it. Thanks. Get him out of that wire. I got him. Just get ready to net him. Fat, dude. Yeah, I think he will. Alright, well, you get the scale out. Yeah. Get 
going back in real quick. All right, so it's about 12:30 now. Uh, we just pulled up to the to the point that you guys saw us fish earlier. Uh, we've culled a couple more times, but we're culling ounces. We're not culling pounds. So uh, we really just need that one big kicker fish. We're gonna keep at it. We got two more hours. It's gonna come down to the wire, but we're gonna get it done. We're we're gonna cut a check. I I sure hope we do. So uh, stick with us. Stay tuned. It's gonna be good. Dude, on freaking bad. Sight fishing. Holy crap. Oh, you talk about identical fish. That one. Yeah. This one's going in, right? Yeah, that one goes to the water. Oh man, we did it. You should just found a four pounder on bed, freaking tossed it in there and just absolutely stuck him. We did it. We got it done, we're heading back to the ramp. Don't know if we got what we need to win, but I don't know, we gotta be back and 20 minutes so we're gonna fish around and head back to the ramp but that was the that was the one we needed that was the one to, to secure a good bag anyway we feel like we're gonna place pretty good um i don't know we're pumped we're gonna get over the way in oh yeah And just like that, we're back at the house. Uh, guys, it was a good tournament. Uh, we weighed in 11.9, which, you know, we thought it might've been a little more than that. Uh, what A lot of what we were focusing on was the schooling fish. I talked about this in one of the, when I was talking to the camera, the schooling fish were really big for us for two reasons. Number one, because they allowed us to get a limit really quick early in the morning so what i mean by that is and i know i deleted some of the clips and you didn't get to see this but when we pulled up on the first couple spots especially they're just jumping and they're they're chasing the shad and what we were able to do was get them fired up with the six cents catwalk uh topwater bait and then the six cents fish head spin when we started throwing those baits and getting the first couple bites a lot more followed uh, and that allowed us to load the boat up pretty quick in the morning which allowed us to fish more freely in the afternoon what we did there was we started chasing roamers some of the big fish uh, and then we started looking for fry garters uh, which was the four pounder that houston caught on bed there was a, he was able to actually toss the frog the topwater frog ahead of the boat work it back and when that fish missed it he went right back to his bed and he actually made the comment he said he didn't bite he won't bite the frog but he'll bite something and he picked up a texas rig and when he pitched that thing in there it immediately went down on it and of course the rest is history it was in the boat now it was stuff like that that really allowed us to have a successful day i don't know 10th place on the first tournament of the season is a good start we're really happy with with the way we started we got another one coming up which will be the next video you guys will see i don't know how that one's going to play out sometimes you guys see these videos later than they actually happen but in my lifetime you know th this tournament was one weekend the next tournament is the following weekend so the the patterns aren't going to change a whole lot as far as we're concerned uh, we're just looking for some of the same stuff that we were working before uh, maybe try a couple new areas uh, and see what happens guys if you like this video 
Give me a thumbs up for the 10th place finish. The first tournament of the year, I got to get a thumbs up for that 10th place finish. Um, and if you haven't already, go ahead and make sure to subscribe to the channel uh, because there's going to be a lot more coming out on the tournament series uh, because I fish a lot of Thursday nighter tournaments. I fish a lot of weekend tournaments and the only th basically all I do is fish during this time of the year. So you're going to get a lot of tournaments. If you like that sort of thing, make sure you stick around. And I want to address one more thing because I've already actually edited some of the video. I, I was able to bring it back on my computer and take a look at it before I'm talking to you guys now. Uh, what I noticed was some of the film quality was not great. Um, some of the audio was terrible. The one that the clip that you guys saw when the mic actually broke during mid camera, I don't know what was going on there. Uh, what I want to address is guys, when we're fishing tournaments, we got to worry about fishing the tournaments. We can't be doing a whole lot of filming. Uh, you know, it, it just is what it is. Uh, we got some other priorities there. So I did want to mention that the quality might be not as good during the tournaments, just because we're focusing on winning as it might be for example on the john boat series or some of the other series i've got coming along where the only thing i'm out there to do is to film a video and catch a couple fish uh so you guys get the picture guys i really appreciate you sticking around this long and uh make sure you subscribe peace